Hi guys, my name is Alessia and I'm live in South Italy and today I'm gonna make a little video uh, from one very very beautiful place. It's amazing. <laughs> it is called Castel del Monte in Italiano. Apulia, Italian region, uh, Sud Italia. But today I came here with my husband, with my little daughter. We're gonna walk in here, we're gonna go inside and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this uh, interesting place. It's amazing uh, castle, empty castle. Uh, so let's go to see. Друзья мои, небольшое пояснение. На днях мы ездили с семьей в замок Кастель Дель Монте. Это потрясающее место, наследие ЮНЕСКО находится здесь в Апуле. И так как у меня уже есть много видео из этого места на русском языке, мне захотелось записать это, этот влог на другом языке. Можно было на итальянском или на английском, но итальянцы, в общем-то, про это место знают, особенно те, кто на юге живут. Остался только вариант на английском. Английский язык, конечно, у меня очень слабый. Я его за 8 лет жизни в Италии вообще забыла. Ну, в общем, решила тряхнуть стариной. Не судите строго, если вам интересно продолжать смотреть. А внизу в описании этого ролика я оставлю все ссылки на видео про Кастель Дель Монте на русском языке. Поэтому, если вам не очень интересно смотреть мои потуги <говорить>, говорить на английском, можете пройти и посмотреть э, видео про Кастель Дель Монте на русском. Uh, first uh, hot spring days uh, in Italy, so uh, it's a lot of tourists came here to visit this beautiful, special place. And you can see there's a lot of people, a lot of bus, a lot of cars. I already see these people is not Italian, <laughs> I think. Yeah. We pay uh, parking, uh, the cost of parking five euros. Yeah. After parking your car, you have to uh, go up uh, to the mountain to visit the castle. And if you don't want to have a lot of walk, you can take a bus, special bus, which go, goes up to the castle. Uh, it calls here Navetta. Uh, we decide to make a walk because I, I have to walk. <laughs> I need to lose some extra, extra, extra pounds. Um, so my channel uh, is in January is about it. I, <laughs> I try to lose my uh, extra weight. Uh, I start from 100 kilos and <laughs> uh, slowly I'm, <clears throat> I'm going down, going down. <laughs> so we are here, we are came. Look at this place, it's amazing. I'm sure that you haven't seen something like this. People came here to see this castle because it's unique. It is UNESCO heritage. So here is the prices: uh, seven euro. <laughs> seven euro cost of uh, ingresso for adult and for babies, for little kids, it costs two euros. Just look at this place right here behind me: Castel del Monte. Puglia, Apulia, Italia, Castel del Monte. So guys, let me show you this an incredible, mysterious castle called Castel del Monte. It's an impressive 13th century fortified palace of Frederick II listed by UNESCO. You know, I came here uh, almost every year and uh, you know guys, nothing is changed here. <laughs> <laughs> it's still the same like it was two years ago, five years ago. <laughs> but you know, guys, I I like to came here because because this very interesting and unusual place. In Castel del Monte, you can visit two floors. Castel is open daily and first Sunday of the month. In Italy, there is one program uh, that all the museum you can visit for free. <laughs> you don't pay. So... Uh, you can come here uh, in first uh, Sunday on the, of the month and go without ticket and go inside uh, to visit castle for free. Um, we came in another day, so we buy the tickets. 
This medieval palace originally built as a hunting lodge by the Emperor Frederick II. It was built in the 13th century and completed in 100-2014. Castel del Monte has been described by UNESCO, with whom it is listed as a World Heritage Site, as a unique piece of medieval military architecture. The castle is on a hill on the plateau of the western Munch near Andria. Just look at this building, perfectly octagonal building that at each corner has a towel of equal shape. It looks so strange. Its position, it's not strategic. And it's not suitable as a fortress. So, and there is no uh, characteristic elements for hunting. And some people hypothesize it that it was a kind of temple. You know, the scientists find inside some astronomical symbols. It's some mysteries here. I don't know. <laughs> and you know, uh, it's a lot of legends concerning what is this Castel del Monte. Monte. Stories describe terrible stories of ghosts that roam inside the castle without being able to find the peace. And I don't know where where they can hide. <laughs> it's empty inside. There is nothing here. Nothing. You know, my little daughter, she was tired to visit these empty rooms. But when she's heard about ghosts... <laughs> She's become to be more interesting to stay here a little bit more. And who knows who this ghost can be? Some servants, brigands or passing men killed in the walls of the fortress falling to make the transition. And some legends say that this is the soul of Frederick II <laughs> who does not want to abandon his beloved home of the castle. But you know, it's not the truth. Uh, the truth is, Frederick II, he wasn't live here. Uh, the castle was not finished. And interior of the castle, the furniture, it was not finished. Never. And other people believe it is the spirit of some prisoner who committed suicide. We don't know. Uh, in fact, I have to say that me and my daughter, we've been searching for these ghosts. <laughs> we didn't see anyone, so I don't know. And also the truth that the castle is surrounded by an aura of mystery. Why the castle was built? It has such a strange shape. What was it made in for? What was it made for? Probably for hunting. Maybe for some astrology or astronomical observation. Or some people say it was made in for, for some magical rituals. <laughs> the truth is what nobody knows. We even doesn't know how was it called, the castle. Original name has not survived to our days. Beyond the strange, impressive, magical castle. In fact, the manor was built inside a dense forest with the intent not to be seen by everyone and remain in the mystery. Before the castle, here was a Benedictine monster at the same place. Mm, this why maybe, maybe the castle has this strange octagonal plan. Here in Apulia, it's a lot of castles which was made by Frederick II, but no one of them has this strange symmetrical geometric shape like this Castel del Monte. Maybe the link of the fortress was the order of the Templars, and it was for them an ideal place to carry out an initial path. It is said that Frederick II often meet in secret the representatives of the most important religious orders. It may be that the sovereign intended to unify all religion, Judaism, Islamism and Christianity into one. But having died shortly after completion of the building of the castle, his will remained unfulfilled. So it's a lot of theories and it's a lot of legends. <laughs> what uh, was Castel del Monte made for? But anyway, it is a great architectural masterpiece, recognized as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO. The castle was built using three types of material, limestone, white marble and coral breccia. And this gives the walls of the building a very special chromatic effect. It takes a lot of years of study and investigation, but, but the architect builder still remains unknown.
interiors and towers of the castle combines various architectural styles from the classic to the Islamic. One uh, online game, Forge of Empire, uh, use Castel del Monte. <laughs> the Castel del Monte provides in this game uh, points and attack bonuses for players. And you know, Italian money, one cent, una centesima, uh, like, like it, Italian, Italian called it una centesima, one cent, one euro cent. Uh, it has uh, this castle on this monet. It's not my first time here. I am used to came here to see the castle. And I wonder every time I visit it, I have a lot of positive energy, a lot of energy <laughs> after staying here. I really like this place. And do you know what? First time I see this room opened. Let me show you. Let me uh, present you <laughs> the royal closet. King's toilet. <laughs> King's closet here. And I think it's terrible. <laughs> it looks terrible. Let's go out of here. And I like to stay here. I like to visit this place any time of the year. And uh, it's always beautiful in estate, uh, in summer, in winter, <laughs> autumn uh, and spring. It's always very, very interesting. As you can see, there is a lot of tourists here and they came from all the world, from all around the world people uh, came here because I'm sure you have never seen something like this before. Now I'm leaving you to admire the rooms and the stunning views of the valley Barleta Andrea Trani. Look how beautiful, how green Apulia this time of the year. Look at this almost white geometric castle on the mountain and enjoy this magical place. Also, you can see another video from Castel del Monte on my channel. I will link down below. Uh, you can see another video about uh, travel in Apulia, about my vlog, my daily Italy vlogs, uh, my life in Italy. Uh, but I uh, have to say I um, always speak Russian on my channels, speak Russian and a little bit Italian uh, because I'm a native Russian speaker <laughs> uh, who lives in Italy now. And uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and uh, thank you very, very much uh, for being here, for staying with me, for watching this video.
So now our little walking tour in Castel del Monte is over. Uh, we have finished it, visited this beautiful castle and empty castle. <laughs> it's beautiful, but uh, as you can see in my video, there is nothing inside. You can see only rooms without any furniture, <laughs> without any decor. But I think anyway, it's very interesting to see. So now we are going down. When you leave uh, the castle, down you can see some market uh, where you can buy some typical food, Apulian, uh, something what uh, make and eat uh, Italians here. There is a restaurant and also in the park where we have left our car. This is a toilet. This is a um, self restaurant. So you can take some coffee. There is also um, little souvenir shops, so you can buy some books about uh, Italy, about Castel del Monte, Apulia, or some typical food, uh, wine from this place. There is some uh, special Italian wine produced in this zone, Castel del Monte, so you can buy this one here in this shop. So guys, that's all for today. And that is all. I finished my walking. I finished my visit to uh, Castel del Monte. I hope you like it. I hope you like my channel. If you like this video, make me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And uh, see you next video. Bye-bye.